right, hi there guys, and welcome to a reading vlog. This is the first time I've sat down to vlog since Vlogmas ended, which admittedly wasn't too long ago, but I've just missed sitting and talking to you guys. You really get into it during Vlogmas, and then when it ends, you're like, mm, I'll be doing something or seeing something, and I'll be like, oh, I wish I could share this with my YouTube friends, but I'm not currently vlogging. Anyway, I thought we would do a reading vlog to sort of kick off the vlogs for this year. I don't know how long it's going to take me to read this book, so I don't know how long this vlog, like how many days this vlog will cover, but I'm thinking it's going to go through to New Year's. So it's currently December 29th when I'm starting this. Anyway, this vlog is going to be for normal people by Sally Rooney. Um, I've read some Sally Rooney before and enjoyed it. It's definitely not for everyone. It's a lot of no plot, just vibes is the feeling I've gotten from the books I've read before. So if that's not your thing, maybe you won't like it. But I saw the show for this. It's on Prime, I think, here in Canada. And I loved the show. Um, so I thought, you know what, let's read the book. Why don't we do that to kick off 20... I keep saying kick off 2024. I don't know if this is going to come out before then or not. I don't think so. I think it'll be the very beginning of 2024. So we're going to kick it off with this. <laughs> so let's do it. All right, I figure it's time to get this vlog started. I just started Normal People. It's New Year's Eve right now. And I've got the first chapter in Bit Red. So basically the setup is we meet Marianne and Kyle. They're high school students. And um, Marianne's kind of um, a loser at school, for lack of a better word. She's very, very smart, but she has no friends. And Connell's kind of a more a popular guy. And in the first chapter, he's going to her house to pick up his mom because his mom's um, a house cleaner and she cleans um, her family's house. And um, we kind of see that they've got a, some sort of a bit of a relationship outside of school. So that's where we're at. Chapter two just started and she's got a, <laughs> we're already introduced to a very um, toxic relationship that she has with her brother. So anyway, now we're going to finish watching Ed and I conversations with friends. Um, I'm in a Sally Rooney mood right now, I guess. So we're going to finish that and we'll see what he thinks of it. So we just finished watching conversations with friends because uh, Shannon watched it a while ago and she was like, hey, we should watch this. It's I don't remember the ending and uh, it was it was good. It was enjoyable. It was it was well done. Um Totally will agree that it was well done. And the last three minutes of that show, infuriating, absolutely infuriating. This was just awful, awful. Hi, me again. So I just looked back through everything and uh, saw how unbelievably pissed off I looked during that. Um, I wasn't that upset. Um. All right, hi there guys, it's now 8.22. No, it's not 8.22, it looks like it's 8.22. It's only 6.22. I've come out now to get some takeout. We're gonna have that for dinner. And then just have a nice quiet New Year's Eve in this year. Um, as you saw in that last clip, Ed did not love um, the last three minutes of conversations with friends, but um, overall we enjoyed it. I liked, I liked the ending, I thought it was pretty realistic. Anyway, we'll get back to reading. Here's one final look at the lights downtown for the vlog for 2023. <laughs> Still no snow, but it was a great holiday season. It's officially past midnight now and I've got <laughs> the Animal Crossing pulled up because I knew they would have something going on for New Year's. So cute. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve. Okay, so I am 31 pages in now, and I'm enjoying the way it's laid out. First of all, it might be a little off-putting at first to some people because there's no quotation marks around dialogue, which does take a bit of getting used to. But I like the way that we're sort of given a look into their lives, and then we're fast-forwarded. So it's like a month later, six weeks later, two weeks later, two months later, whatever. And it holds up really good like that. 
because if you spent too much time in each time period, I feel like it would get a bit slow. But like this, it's really keeping up a good pace. So, but my God, it is painful reading the way that Connell is struggling with being with her. Because at this point, they're, they're having an intimate relationship. But still, he, like, she can't tell anyone. And when we hear his, like, internal thoughts, it's like, it's, it's painful to read. It's painful to read. Happy New Year, guys. It is New Year's Day in the afternoon. It's about 3 p.m. Um, I just came out mainly just to go for a little drive. Nothing's open, of course. It's New Year's Day, but we just wanted to get out of the house for a bit. Since I was last talking to you, I read a couple more chapters of Normal People. I got to that chapter um, of the party at the school, well, at the club for the school, where Marianne and Connell's relationship sort of starts to shift in that Connell vocally in front of his friends um, makes a move to stand up for her against their sort of taunting. Um, so that's good. <laughs> so we'll keep going. Look at this view here today out over the prairies. It's beautiful. What a beautiful New Year's Day. So nice and peaceful. Okay, so I just got to the part where he's in his in the car with his mom and he tells her that he invited a girl, not Marianne, to like the big dance. It's called the Debs. I don't know what that is. I think it's an, I think it's an Irish thing. Um, maybe like the prom. I don't know. Um, but his mom is finally reading him to filth, telling him how disappointed she is in him. And like, because she knows that he's been sneaking around with Marianne and she is not impressed with him right now. Love that for him. Because he deserves it. <laughs> that said, like as annoying as he is for this, it's realistic. It touches on the pressures, you know, we feel in school within our social circles and things like that when we're young. Um, so I can appreciate it for that, but I'm glad. She told him she was embarrassed of him and then she got out of the car <laughs> and she told him she's going to take the bus home. That's how unimpressed she is. You guys, look at these absolutely gorgeous Edgar Allan Poe metal bookmarks. These just came in the mail today from my dear friend, Lyndall. Lyndall, if you're watching this, thank you so much. They are perfect. Perfect. It came with a really sweet card too, but I left that in the car. I got too excited and just ran away with the bookmarks. All right, hi there guys. It's January 3rd now. I've got you balanced precariously on my coffee table, but I did want to check in because um, I've gotten to page 130 now for an Oh, look, that pill perfectly matches this book. I didn't realize that. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to try to get this book finished today. I'm on page 130. Did I already say that? And um, I thought you could hang out with me for a bit while I'm reading. And I thought I'd just fill you in sort of on what's happened since we last talked. They finished high school. There was a scene where when they're at the Debs, like Marianne doesn't go. After he invite someone else she drops out of school just to finish at home because she's kind of over it all and then when he's at the dance one of his like really close friends was like why didn't you bring Marianne to the dance and he was like what do you mean and his friend's like I mean come on we all know you've been having sex with her why didn't you just bring her so then he has this moment of realization that like nobody cares that much about him or his sex life you know like he destroyed everything for no reason. Anyway, so now they're in college and the tables, my friends, they have turned. Now Marianne, because she's beautiful and intelligent, she's thriving at college. She's got all kinds of friends, boyfriends, all the whole, the whole bit. And Connell's the one kind of struggling to fit in, but um, she embraces him and brings him into her friend group and they start seeing each other again. Then spring comes, he decides to go home for the summer and she's staying in Dublin but um, she's home for the weekend currently that's where that's where we're at so let's do a bit of reading shall we Wait, so I just spent like 30 minutes reading on camera and I thought it was gonna be so cute and I was gonna like 
put it in the video, speed it up, add some music to it. I go to import it over onto the computer to take a look at it <laughs> and you can't see the book. So it looks like I'm just sitting there staring at my lap for 30 minutes. So we're gonna scrap that idea for this vlog and we'll try to get on the next one. I'm sitting here this afternoon reading Normal People, still hoping to finish it up today. I've had another book arrive at the door. This is a book I ordered late one night over Christmas because I'm nosy and I've been hearing people talk about it for a long time. It's not what I typically read. I didn't even really have any real desire to read it. I'm driven purely by the fact that I'm incredibly nosy and I need to know what the fuss is about. This has arrived. <laughs> Um, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading it, but here I'll put the text up on the screen that I sent to Ed. <laughs> All right. Hi there, guys. I'm just put at page 200 now. Um, Marianne's brother makes me so mad. So mad. I don't think I've ever been this angry with a book character in a long time. He's just the absolute worst. Just a piece of shit can't stand him <laughs> and there's a scene in the tv show that i love that i hope is also in the book that involves connell and marianne's brother and i i hope we get to read that while we're out i thought i would show you that while we don't have any snow the hoarfrost has arrived which is like when all the trees get covered in the thick frost so we've got the look of snow without any actual snow so i'll take that for now it's coming. The scene is coming. Marianne and her brother just got in an altercation that ended up with her, him hitting her in the face with her bedroom door. She's bleeding. She's going to call Connell. Connell's going to come over. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, someone has protected this girl from her family who hurts her so much. Finally. Someone not with violence, but with words and the promise of violence has protected her. Oh, man alive. This, I love this book. <laughs> I'm currently spending a bit of time this afternoon taking down the tree. I've got almost, almost all the decorations down. It's always a little, it's always a little sad when it comes down, but I am also anxious to like get everything tidied away and get back to normal. Also doing a bit more work on my gallery wall. I got the picture of Anna and I put up. I've got to add the picture of my niece and nephew. I don't know if I'll go up with that. I kind of want to do it above the feather. We'll see. Okay, you guys, I just finished this book. Had to come now, sit down, tell you guys how it went through the end. Honestly, I loved it. I loved it more than I thought I would. Like I loved the show. And I've liked things I've read from Sally Rooney before, but I didn't know how much I was going to love this one. The thing about Sally Rooney is she kind of plops you down into a story and then pulls you back out. Like, there's not a lot of beginning, middle, end. It's just, here's some things that happened. Um, so, where we left off from me telling you about earlier, Connell finally stands up to Alan for Marianne. I love that scene. I love that scene in the show. I love that scene in the book. I love it. Um, and then after that, you know, they get back together because the whole time for the whole book, they're on again, off again throughout, um, the tail end of high school, through college, it's on again, it's off again. They're undoubtedly drawn to one another, undoubtedly, but then, you know, they'll try it and then something will happen and they'll end it, but undoubtedly they always come back to each other and when the book ends so from there we get they spend new year's eve they kind of pick it up again they try to work out what they want from each other and from themselves and then as the book comes to an end we see that connell gets an email from a school in the united states offering him a spot to do like his creative writing program. I don't know, some big deal school in America um, offers him a position and Marianne's like, why didn't you tell me about it? And he's like, well, honestly, didn't even think I had a shot of getting in. So it seems stupid to mention it. He's like, besides, it's not like I'm gonna go. And she's like, you, you should go, you should go. And um, 
that's kind of where it ends with her telling him to go and you know let me read it to you actually the final <laughs> spoilers if you don't want to hear the literal final paragraph in the book but um let me see here to be honest I don't know what to do he says say you want me to stay and I will she closes her eyes he probably won't come back she thinks or he will differently what they have now they can never have back again but for her, the pain of loneliness will be nothing to the pain that she used to feel of being unworthy. He brought her goodness like a gift, and now it belongs to her. Meanwhile, his life opens out before him in all directions at once. They've done a lot of good for each other. Really, she thinks, really. People can really change one another. You should go, she says. I'll always be here. You know that. I would love a sequel to this. <laughs> I would love to know like 10 years later, what are they doing? Did they ever find their way back to each other? I do also like the open-ended ambiguity of the ending. You know, you can kind of make it be whatever you want it to be in your mind. Does he come back? Does he not? Um, but I thought it was great and it's making me re want to rewatch the show on Prime. Well, it's on Prime here in Canada. I think, I think it's on Hulu in America, if that's where you are. If you're somewhere else, I don't know where it would be. <laughs> but, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I liked how instead of chapters, there were, like, time periods. Like, it would start, and then it would say six months later, two weeks after that, you know, four months later, three months later. I love that, how we just kind of get snippets. You know, you don't get the whole story, but you get glimpses every so often when when you need to and when you're in that space of getting those glimpses you get a bit of flashback if it's needed and I just thought it was great it's a quick read it's fast-paced well uh, no 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 it's not fast-paced that's not what I mean it for me it kept me turning the pages it was a quick read it's it's slow slow um but in a good way fast paced can't believe I'm, <laughs> can't believe I said that um but no in the best possible way it's a slow burn um and it just sort of presents you with look at this and that's it and I loved it <laughs> so you guys I'm gonna go now continue taking down the tree which is like just to my left here all the ornaments are off now now I'm gonna take it down get it in the basement the not fun stuff let me know in the comments down below how your new year's was um did you do anything did you see anyone what'd you do <laughs> um like you saw we had a quiet night and it was honestly perfect so now i'm, I'm ready to get back into routine get back into the day-to-day -day. and although I, I always get a little sad when christmas is over <laughs> i'm just looking at the tree now i'm like don't go but it's done for another year. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this style of vlog. If you do, let me know that down in the comments below as well. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because that helps me out a ton. And I will see you guys again really soon. Bye.